Good morning everybody, it's Chloe again. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, as you know, I have been stockpiling stuff that people have been leaving out in the lobby area of our apartment complex uh, to give to the homeless. And today is a pretty decent day. Um, we are expecting snow tomorrow. Um, it's April. I know a lot of people say, well that's Minnesota. I don't really give a crap. Um, I would much rather be in San Diego. <laughs> Hence the hat. Um, so, since it's a decent day today, I thought I would take today and drop off all the uh, stuff that I have. Um, clothing, a baby seat, books, toys, um, I think we've got some dishes over there, I'm not sure if I'm going to bring those or not. But, uh, I've got lots of stuff to give to the homeless, so I thought I'd show you, uh, what I have here. I'm sorry about the shaky camera work, I don't have it on my tripod today. So, here's... Here's a look at all the stuff that I've collected since January. Um, got some books and there's the dishes down there. There's some clothes I think in that one too. And there's some little children's things in there. Toys and stickers and stuff to for the kids to play. Here's the little baby seat. Uh, there's some clothes underneath there. Baby clothes and stuff like that. So uh, there's some children's books here too that the kids can read. What's really sad is that a lot of the homeless these days, most of them are children, which I think is really terribly sad that children have to live on the street instead of living in a nice warm home, especially with an impending winter storm coming in the next three days. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this stuff off down at Sharing and Caring Hands run by Mary Jo Copeland. And I just thought I'd show you uh, the stash that I have. So now I can get my kitchen back. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and drop this stuff off. And when I'm done, I will finish out this video. And hopefully be able to upload this video today. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, folks, I'm back. And uh, it felt really good to go down there. I ended up taking a wrong turn. <laughs> I turned way before I was supposed to. Thankfully, I figured it out and I didn't go too far out of my way, but I was able to drop all that stuff off. So it took me about three trips to take all that stuff down to my car. Uh, let's see, I had two big tubs in the trunk of my car, two boxes and a little tub in the back seat of my car, plus the baby seat. So look how clean it looks now <laughs> over here. All that stuff is now down with the homeless, so that made me feel really good. I decided not to take the dishes, though. I didn't think that they would take dishes, so I I don't know what I'm going to do with these things. <laughs> Maybe just put it out in the lobby area for somebody else to take or something. But, so now, I'll be on the lookout for some more stuff that people will leave in the in the lobby areas so that I can stockpile pile some more and bring some more down to the homeless. But here's something interesting. When I went down to bring my first load down, I found this nice little computer desk with a printer on it. I don't know if the printer works. I do have another one that somebody left right there. So I th it is very dusty. You can see how dusty that is. I'm going to have to clean that up a little bit. But I think I'm going to get rid of this thing here and move this guy into that area. It looks a lot nicer. So it's about the same size, I think, but the tabletop looks a little bit higher than that one, if you kind of compare the two. So, and then of course we got Lucky over here, so happy to be out of his cage. Every time I leave, I have to lock him up so that he doesn't destroy my carpet or anything. So, Lucky, you say hi to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube. That's his favorite toy right there. Is a gator. Hey, look up here. <laughs> He's so excited. So let me show you a before shot here before we get all this snow that we're expecting. They're saying it could be in upwards of 12 inches or more. Hopefully there's no more hornets or bees out here, wasps, whatever. So in some of my previous videos, you've seen a lot of snow out here. Well, we've been having 60 degree weather, so all that snow is now melted. Uh, you can see all the water on top of the garages there. 
personally, I think they need to get to just knock down those garages and make some more parking spots. So this is the before shot. It is a little bit cool out today compared to yesterday. Yesterday we got to 70 degrees. And uh, what I've been noticing, even after they sprayed for the bees last year, if you remember, I was freaking out with the wasps that were getting in between my door here. Uh, they were going into my air conditioning unit over here, up in this corner right there. But uh, a couple weeks ago, I was out here enjoying the weather, and I noticed that there was a wasp crawling up along here. And uh, somehow it got in between my screen door and my glass door again. And I think I was able to get rid of it. Oh, I got it locked right now, but... I think what the problem is, this building was built back in the 70s, and I think what they do, what the wasps do, is they somehow get in between here, because you can see there's like a gap there. So they really need to replace these screen doors so that I don't get any more wasps in between my screen and my glass door. I, I have only had this door open once since I've lived here, and I've been here for over a year. Normally I leave this door open during the day, especially when it's so blooming hot out here. You can hear the uh, terror dogs, or what I call El Diablo Perros. They're about two doors down there, so they've got their door open. You can kind of hear the female barking, I'm sure. Been quiet enough, long enough, then you can hear her. She is a terror. She's a Pomeranian, and I know the Pomeranians tend to, to yip a lot and stuff, but you can train your dogs not to do that. And the owners do not do not discipline their dogs at all. Personally, the dogs, I believe, own the people instead of the people owning the dogs. So, it's a little bit too cool out there today. High today is only supposed to be 53. And uh, my mom had given me an ivy, which was sitting right there and I killed it so this little plant this rhododendron is really thriving uh, this is the newest leaf right here so every so often I get new leaves on this guy so but it would be nice if I could have some plants that actually flower all summer where I don't kill them and then of course I've got my collection of Wells Fargo ponies up here And I got Hyper Dog right here. So, if you have any extra stuff laying around your house, toys, clothes, um, check your local uh, homeless shelters in your area and find out a list of things that they accept. And if, if you're not going to have them, instead of giving them to Goodwill because they get so much stuff already, um, I'd like to suggest that you bring them to your local homeless shelter. Now, if you live here in the Twin Cities, Mary Jo Copeland runs Sharing and Caring Hands downtown. She also has a place called Mary's Place, which is more for the children uh, and families. They've got, I think, they, I think she said there's like a hundred apartments in that building. But um, I would strongly suggest that you donate yourself to a homeless shelter because more and more people are becoming homeless. I read an article in the paper the other day. I don't know if I'm putting this up here is going to... I might have to scoot down. I can't... I don't have one of those cameras that has the, the thing that comes around the side, so I can't see myself. But um, homeless shelters are becoming more and more... People rely on them more and more because there are so many people that are homeless and more children than adults are homeless and I think that is absolutely sad and you may be wondering why I have such a soft heart in a soft spot of my heart for the homeless well when I was growing up my parents used to take me and my, my sisters downtown to feed once a month for a program called loaves and fishes they still exist and what the area churches would do is every every Wednesday once a week or whatever, the, the different churches would go down there and then serve 
a spaghetti dinner to the homeless people and that's how I got introduced to homelessness and in the past couple of years homelessness here in the Twin Cities has gone up by 15 percent which it should be going the other way so that's why I feel it's necessary to donate your your use gently used items to a homeless shelter um, the other the other uh, program that is near and dear to my heart is the Humane Society the Animal Humane Society they shut down puppy mills and kitty mills I'm sure there's some of those out there you don't hear about them as much but I'm sure that they're out there and they bring the animals into their shelters they foster them they bring them back to health and then they make it so that they are adaptable now here in the Twin Cities the Humane Society is a no-kill shelter there's like four locations throughout the Twin Cities area and if the dog is at I, I, I presume any animal but I usually go looking for dogs um, if the dog is at one location for too long and is not getting adopted out what they'll do is if they need the space at one location they'll transfer that dog to one of the other four other three locations until the dog is adopted out there's very few animals that they destroy and those are dogs that dogs or animals that are too sick to adopt out or too aggressive that they cannot be retrained and rehabilitated as Susan Milan says to make it safe for anybody to own those dogs so or animals I should say they uh, they have rabbits they have like rodents guinea pigs, um, gerbils, mice, rats, hamsters, dogs, cats, um, and so if you're going to be adopting an animal please 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 do not go to a pet store. Uh, I prefer that you either go to a rescue or a reputable rescue or you go to your local humane society and adopt the, dog, the animal that way no matter what kind of animal you get. So those two things are very near and dear to my heart, homelessness and the Humane Society. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Um, I do have to get an oil change here in a few hours, so <laughs> my car is way overdue for that. So I hope you're having a great day. Um, donating to the sharing and caring hands of homeless shelter here really made me feel really good that I was able to help them out in that respect. So again, if you have any clothes or toys or shoes, I mean, the shoes, obviously they don't have to be in the best condition. I don't think homeless people are really going to care. So just donate the, donate your stuff, donate your time even to the shelter, to the homeless shelter or even to an animal shelter. And um, let's take care of one another, folks. You know, we are only, we're put on this earth, God put us on, the, on this earth to take care of one another. And with Easter coming up, he died for every single one of us. He died for you, he died for me, he died for people like Hitler, Bin Laden, Saddam Hussein, Stalin, the evil people of the world, yes, Jesus died for them too. And he died for the good people like Mary Jo Copeland and Mother Teresa and you and me. And so let's help each other out, okay? Let's, let's be there for one another and not turn your back on one another. So with that said, please subscribe. I know this is a shameless plug. See, please subscribe, hit the notification button so you know when I upload a new video. The announcement video will be coming very soon. Um, please like my videos, share them. If you don't like them, go ahead and dislike them. I don't care. Um, like I said, I'm not. I'm not here to please everybody. Not everybody's going to like my content, so most of my videos are very boring. Um, I do know that there will be one more person that will be subscribing, and his name is Danny. So, Danny, if you're watching this, a big shout out to you. And. So I will see you guys on the next one and have a sunny day.